Engineer man here. Time to learn about C pointer and reference differences. No time to waste. Let's jump in. Here's our outline. Difficulty is easy. First, what is a pointer? A pointer is a special variable which instead of taking a value, it takes a memory reference to another variable. Second, what is a reference? A reference is when you take a variable and you add an ampersand and you get the memory reference of that variable. You can then apply that to a pointer or send it to a function, which we'll do later. Next, what does it mean to dereference a pointer? Dereferencing a pointer is when you say, give me the value of the variable that this pointer points to, and you do that using an asterisk, which we'll do in a second. All right, let's do some pointer stuff. So I have this template code which I set up just so we can speed the video along. I made this function here, and all it does is it takes a integer pointer, it dereferences that pointer and increments it by one. So we'll use that a couple times throughout this video. First we're gonna do is create a variable and create a pointer to that variable. So to create the variable, very easy, specify the type, specify the name, specify the value. Done, we have a number variable which holds the value of 10. Next, we'll create a pointer to that number. So we specify the type, we do an asterisk which says this is a pointer. I'll do say P number for pointer number. And then here I have to give it the reference to number. So I use an ampersand and I do number. Now asterisk P number and number are essentially in sync. They're both the value of 10, which we can prove by doing this. We'll say number is and P number dereference is. You got number and dereference P number. So we'll compile this real quick and we'll run it. And you'll see it's number is 10 and P number dereference is 10, exactly what we expect it to be. Next, modify the value of the variable directly and via dereferencing. So let's just increment number, very easy. Do number plus equals one, and then we'll output it. And then we'll also increment P number by dereferencing it. This is essentially the exact same thing. Number, we already, hold, we already know holds the value of 10 and dereference p number also holds the value of 10, although it will hold 11 here since we just incremented it. So let's recompile and run. And you'll see now it's 10, 11, 12. And number and p number dereference is staying in sync the whole time. Finally, let's use this increment me function. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use increment me directly on the pointer. Now I'm going to pass p number. Now notice I didn't put an asterisk. The reason I didn't put an asterisk is because the function increment me is expecting an integer pointer already. If I were to put an asterisk, then it would just be a number and that would be an error. So in this case, it takes that pointer, it dereferences it up here and then adds one. And then we'll output that again so we can look at it. And then the last thing we're gonna do is use increment me again, except we're gonna pass a reference to number. So we'll do ampersand number, just like we did up there. And then we'll output the values again. So we'll recompile again. And as you might expect, we now have 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. We took four actions. It started as 10. We took four actions. We incremented by one here. We dereferenced P number and incremented by one. We used a function to increment p number, and then we used a function to increment a reference to number. In all cases, it incremented the original integer by 10, and it stayed in sync for the entire time. And that's it. Hopefully everyone learned something. If I forgot to cover something, you'd like to learn more, or you'd like to request a tutorial, post a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss new videos. See you next time.